today we're going to be coloring a music video for Central C and Lil Baby. So open up inside of Premiere Pro here in our timeline, we have three separate clips that we're going to be coloring on. And to get started, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our project here. We're going to right click, we're going to click a new item, and we're going to hit adjustment layer, hit OK, and we're going to drag that on top of our footage here. And now we're going to be doing all of our coloring on top of this adjustment layer just to make things super easy. Now to get started, what you want to do is click on the adjustment layer and then go over to your Lumetri color tab right here. And if you don't have that option, I highly recommend going up to window here and then turning on Lumetri color right here. So you guys will be able to open it without going over to effects, searching Lumetri color, dragging and dropping under clip. It's just way easier this way. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to open up creative and then under look, we're going to hit none and then we're going to hit browse. And now this is where let's come into play. I have a LUT pack that contains over 250 plus unique LUTs. If you guys want to check it out, it'll be linked below. I'm going to be coloring these clips with that. You don't even have to use LUTs. I just like using them as a base. There are tons of free LUTs online for free, but if you want high quality LUTs and want to use the same ones that I'm using, go check out my pack to link below. There is a lot of value in it, but you can find free LUTs all over the internet. So opening up my ultimate LUT pack here, you guys can see we have one through 282 different LUTs and then seven additional film LUTs. You guys will actually never run out of LUTs using this. So just to show you how versatile it is, I'm going to pick a completely random one. Let's go with uh, 53 here and boom, I'm already loving this look. I just need to expand on it a little bit more inside of basic correction here. So I'm just going to make this a bit bigger. And now that we're inside of basic correction, what we're going to do to make this look even better is I'm going to go ahead and turn up the contrast on it, turn down the shadows. I'm going to turn down the whites a little bit, just like so and then turn up the highlights. And if I go in and turn up the orange here and then the saturation a little bit, turn the orange down just a tad. And then if we go into curves here, what we could do is create three points just where the squares intersect here. There we go, just to add a little bit more of an effect to it. And then going back into basic correction here, I'm gonna turn down the exposure, turn up the highlights some more, turn down the shadows and then turn up the contrast a bit. And then boom, I think we have a pretty good looking before and after here. I'm gonna play this clip. I think we have a super unique color grade on this clip here, guys. It's looking super great. All right, moving on to our next clip now. We just have this freeze frame of Lil Baby's face. We're gonna do the exact same thing by going into creative, under look, hitting none, and hitting browse. Let's pick another completely random LUT here. Let's go with 257. Now, this is a cool look here. We're gonna expand on this a little bit more just by going into contrast and turning that up. And then I'm gonna turn the shadows down. And then I think the highlights need to come down. Turn the saturation up. We'll add a bit of an orange look there with some green here and then turn the whites down, blacks down. And I really like this look here, guys. You can expand on them a little bit more by adding film grain and stuff like that. But I'm going to I'm gonna keep this one super simple here before and after. You guys can see how cinematic that makes that look. Now let's move on to our very last one here. We just got this nice shot of Central C. Let's go into Lumetri Color. Exact same thing, guys. Creative look, none, browse. Color grading with this LUT pack is so simple and so easy. We're gonna go and pick another random LUT. Let's go with uh, 276. And wow, this is a really cool look. It's kind of like, all the colors are kind of crushed to give you this like gothic look. So let's go into basic correction now. And I think it'd be cool if we add a little bit of green to it. Maybe not actually. We'll add a little bit of pink, raise the saturation, and we'll bring the shadows down, bring the whites down, then bring the highlights up a little bit, bring the exposure down, the highlights up blacks up a tad and I think that looks super great there guys comparing to before and after really nice color grade on this one you guys can add a little bit more pink into it if you want or if you want to go in a different direction you can add the green but I really think the little bit of pink here looks good and then even if you uh, go ahead and duplicate your clip right here we could add something uh, like my vintage glow LUT that I'll have below or my vintage glow preset let's go in highlights and turn it on minimal you guys can see we get a little bit of glow there. Even if you want to try it with uh, medium here, just get it glowing a little bit, as you guys can see there. And then you could just tweak it by going into basic correction, turn the exposure down a bit, and still getting that little bit of glow on his tracksuit there. Totally up to you guys. But yeah, those are our three color grades. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to check out the LUT pack, it'll be linked below. Leave a like on this video and check out this video right here as well. It's my brand new plugin. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.